up in relationship and connection so that there's something that's being primed inside of you that, that creates kind of the groundwork for you to be able to um, hang the content and the experiences and the kind of skills on, on a kind of shape, you know, so that, so that then, then we know it's not just sort of like an open-ended thing. It's, it, it, it is, it, it's a pathway of its own that has a kind of discernible structure and 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 um, uh, direction, if you like. So uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but it would be really nice to do a demonstration and say I'll do the next one with Danielle, I think, which would be more. Otherwise, I would have gone straight for the first one for you, but I think I'll do the next one that we're going to do. So who would like to come and just? Again, this is just a chatting thing. This is not going to necessarily, although it might do, I can't promise that it won't change your life. Uh, <laughs> 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 yes, please do. It's so lovely to see you. Can I just say, it's so lovely to see him. It's so lovely to see everybody, but I haven't seen you for ages. So, uh, so this is just a conversation, really, as much as anything. So here you are, you're here on a presence and presentation. So in terms of, for you, David, the whole idea that we've tried to kind of put into words and get a, a feeling for, anyway, and, and had an experience of this idea of presence, and particularly in terms of the idea of presence in the overall context. Obviously, there are many, many types of presentations, but whatever that means to you, uh, presence in presentations. In terms of in general, mm -hmm. what are your kind of personal goals sounds too small, it's like dreams, aspirations, you know, desires. Yeah, yeah, in terms of presence and presentations, in general. So my, yeah, my general kind of high dream, if you like, yes. is to be, to generate peace. So That's fantastic. For, for me to be at peace and then generate a place of peace and I kind of, I, I use a word called sacred space, which yeah. is there's a sacred space around me wherever I go, wow. whatever's going on, yeah. and be okay when it, the shit hits the fan to be centred and be present and be at peace. So that's kind of, yeah, my kind of work in progress. Brilliant. Wow. So wherever I show up, there's peace. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Well, that's no small thing, is it? Then go. That's what I want. I want to bring peace, kind of, wherever I go. Mm. Peace within myself and somehow make that kind of possible yeah. for others yeah. Yeah. and especially when you know shit hits fan yeah. kind of yeah. thing when things are more turbulent and mm -hmm. unexpected and difficult mm -hmm. and volatile mm -hmm. unpleasant whatever mm -hmm. other words yeah. you know yeah, just yeah. generating Scratchy words but to kind of go can i stay yeah. you know i want yeah. to be able to really stay centered yeah. i want to be able to say there's another way yes and it's this way yes which is peace, yeah. centered, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's human, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's, so that's like one of the big things. I mean, this is sort of what this day is about. It really is about this, about going, well, what do you really want? You know, what's the big thing about this? And, you know, again, this seems like a very mechanistic kind of thing. I don't mean it to be, so I'm trying to find other words rather than just say, what's your goal? You know, so what's really, as I say, your dream, your aspiration, your deepest inspiration for, for this. But what, how will you, what, what sorts of things uh, are you going to kind of look to, I guess, within yourself and outside of yourself that will be quality mm. kind of aspects of feedback on this very important, mm. um, you know, very deep sense that you have to, to somehow 
be at peace in yourself and to somehow be able to bring peace. Mm. Mm. What what sorts of things might you be looking looking to that mm. will constitute mm. kind of high value types of feedback into mm. this project? So internally or externally? Earth, a bit of both. Earth, I yeah. Think. So if it kind of starts on the inside. Yes. In terms of what's my state. Yes. So if my state is getting scratchy yes. and yes. high, and the first thing is to bring my state yes. back to my centre, yes. back to here, that's kind okay. of grounded, calm, okay. you know, no internal dialogue, you know, relaxed muscles. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so that. And this kind of gesture yeah. where he's kind of going. So if I'm getting like scratchy, <laughs> that's quite a nice word, isn't it? Yeah. Because things are getting a bit kind of scratchy. Yeah. <laughs> I've got this sense of yeah. like being able to, and he has this amazing gesture where he just goes like this. I want to be able to bring that somehow down and kind of be more well, centered. Yeah, centered. Again, if you're yeah. modeling him, you can do this, you know, just, just do the difference sitting there yourself and going scratchy like he did it. And then doing this, I want to be like this, and the, and, the, and the tempo with which he did this, and the kind of definiteness with which he did it. Look at this hand. He's not just kind of going like this. He's, there's something there. And this is where I'm saying this, this area is quite, it's not particularly linguistic or cognitive what we're going for today. It's something else. So there's something, and we're, and we're trying to like, find words and find gestures and ways of expressing that, that says something, that communicates something about these experiences yeah. and how meaningful yeah. they are. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's really lovely. Yeah. And what about, um, David, on, the, on like the outside, mm -hmm. what would be, you know, so here you've got this very, very deep kind of uh, purpose to go, if, if I can, what I want to do is like, I want to really bring peace. Mm. That is what I want. What will you be looking to, or what might be, again, a high quality mm. evidence? And I noticed you did what you didn't want and what you do want. And I think that would be quite interesting mm. to go, how will I guide myself? Mm. What don't I want? What do I want? Mm. What will I be looking at? So again, it's, it's, yeah. it's tricky to put words to, but I think yeah. you felt it in the room. There's a kind yes. of calmness yes. that kind of comes into the atmosphere. Yes. And it can be you know, a lot going on. Yeah. And just kind of by my own voice tone, yes. it's okay. I want to hear all the voices. Yes. I want to know what's going on. And that repeating that back, yes. slowly the energy in the room drops. Yes. And people kind of can either separate and go, we need to breathe, we need yes. to take the space, we, yes. you know, we're not ready to talk yet, yeah. and and we're okay yes. with that. So yes. there's a kind of, I mean, I'm using that. Yeah, look again. at this. You know, again, yeah. feel free to kind of yeah. do a little bit of modeling. Yeah. If I were you, I would be doing second position, like modeling with this. This idea of things just drop, mm -hmm. yeah. and there's a kind of calmness there. And it kind of tension out the shoulders, as your wrists are nice and my wrists are nice yeah. and loose. Yeah. But it's also, I'm extending energy out. Okay, so, so there's, there's this kind of extending energy out. Yeah, there's the but Aikido there's a kind of drop yeah. 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 And you know, I mean, you know about, you know, I, I practice yeah. a lot of Aikido <laughs> and it's a non violent martial yeah. art. Now that may yeah. seem ironic, and the reason it's non violent is because we're trained to receive 99% of the attack with an open heart and then redirect yeah. the energy. So it's about yeah. redirecting the energy. Yeah. Yeah. The evidence I'm looking for yeah. is to redirect yeah. this scratchy energy yeah. back to the ground. Yeah. Let's get back Lovely. to Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what Judy Deloge also calls somatic syntax. Yeah. 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 There's a kind of yeah. dance of yeah. this. Yeah. 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 And I do that linguistically, yeah, I yeah. do that in my body, yeah. I, do, I kind of that's when I'm yeah. in the moment. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how that bit happens. I'm just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it kind of happens. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. I, I can feel how it happens. Yeah. There's something about yeah. kind of like yeah. sensing around the whole mm. space. Mm. 
Mm. And taking that in in yeah. some way. Yeah. Again, these things are difficult to put into words, but mm. we kind of go, he knows when it happens because it's like the energy. When he's talking about his presence in his mm. presentations, mm. this may not be the same for everybody. Mm. It's This is very individual. Mm. That's what we're doing. We bring mm. the authenticity of this person mm. out into some form in the world that we can yeah. somehow kind of connect to. And goes, this is what it is for me. And then things kind of get calm, and then there's this kind of like, I can like sense it, and I'm like working with the energy in this way, and I'm bringing it like down. And then there's something that's coming out of me. Yeah, which is kind of connected to the. Yeah, the, the which source. is connected it's to on, the know, ground. Feet are on the ground. Yeah, yeah. It's that, um, yeah. you know, there's often two kinds of leadership. There's the one we see, which is the high energy, rah, positive. Yeah, yeah. I'm very much a low energy, positive yes. leader. You know, I'm where, I'm, yeah. this is where the ground is. We'll start from there. Yeah. And that's kind of what I bring. So he goes, that's where the ground is. These are lovely, lovely, lovely descriptions. OK, so, so, so then the next bit of the tote. So we've got the goal. We've got, like, what are the evidences? He's got a goal that is about the inner world and the outer world. So, so he's looking to con make this kind of bridge that we've talked about, this kind of capture, this flow that we've been, this commitment, you know, different words that people used about this. So, so David, tell me sort of like, um, I mean, obviously there's lots of things and you've already said some of them, but let's just get, in terms of the operations, the operations is like, what will you do? What will you say? What will the behaviours be? How will you, you know, be acting, you know, in order to, you know, optimise yeah. mm -hmm. the, the, this possibility mm -hmm. to, to be generated and made manifest in the world? Mm -hmm. uh, what will you be doing, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. Yeah. So, um, for me, I'm breathing. That's one yeah. thing. It's breath. Yeah, it's yeah. very much about breath. Yes. I do a lot of reflecting back. Do you notice there's angry words in yes. the room? Do you notice that the tension's high in the room? You know, this yes. is, my body's telling me all of this stuff. Yes. Is this what you want? Yes. You're a choice to change this. You can keep it going. You know, I'm here to help kind of, you know, calm yeah. this place down yes. and help, help you yes. accept that it's okay to be angry, but you yes. have a choice about how you deal with that anger. And then, you know, there's the kind of coaching stuff of what an unmet needs and all that yes. kind of what's generating this. And reframing, I guess, I do a lot of language around these are just rubbish strategies or unskilled strategies yes. for that unmet needs. So yes. people kind of can just associate and go, yes. oh, I can kind of get that out of my body. So yes. I kind of do a lot of linguistic work, I would yes. suppose, about kind of naming, reframing, making sure people yes. know. Yes, questioning. Yeah, do you yeah. know that you're doing this? Yes, yeah. And that kind of sometimes is enough of a yes. shift of state in the room. Yes. Oh, I didn't know. Right, okay, now you're yes. a choice. So there's yes. something about putting people in choice and then Yes. Putting my goal in the room or my option in the room, which is this can be calmer, quieter, yes. we can do this in a different way. Fantastic. Well, a whole load of what a rich description of working with a group that mm. is, isn't it? What a lovely, rich description. Mm. So, there's a whole load of things that he literally is doing, and uh, you know, and you're and you're listening and looking and you're yeah, questioning, yeah. you're helping people think about their experience. Mm. Mm. You're using language in a particular way to try and... We've done a lot on this program uh, with Steve Gilligan's work called mm. Proper Naming. Mm. Yeah. Uh, about like how can we find the kind of the right word mm. that does kind of somehow capture mm. an experience for somebody mm. in such a way that it brings out mm. positive resources mm. for them and others. Absolutely. And yeah. honours the positive yeah. intentions and the yeah. values that yeah, are driving cool. people's behaviour. Yeah, yeah, what's behind all of this? Yeah. So there's certain kinds of questions which are designed to mm. help people yeah. kind of be reflective and become resourceful. They don't and have become to, resourceful. They don't have to be captured in this yeah. kind of, you know, it's your limbic brains taken over. Yeah, yeah. Regulate your brain. Yeah. Get your cortex yeah, right yeah. again and make yeah, some yeah. different choices. So yeah. Really yeah. getting back in, you know. My, so this is the yeah. theory of it. Yeah, isn't yeah. It? <laughs> yeah. You know, you value yourself holding out yeah. the top five centimeters yeah, yeah. of your brain away. The top five millimeters. Yeah, yeah. So there's a theory, the neuroscience. Yes, yes. Is to kind of get you, get you yeah. out of your limbic brain yeah. and back into your, yeah. those skills to yeah. allow you to do that. Well, in connection with yeah. your limbic brain. Yeah. I mean, in yeah. connection yeah. In, in a new way. Mm. Okay, so here's some of his operations. So now we have some great examples here of kind of what, you know, like it's okay and less X. 
So we kind of go, in Sally's one, we've got, it's okay if there are tables and then there's knives or all kind of. And then we've got uh, Zoe's lovely thing where she goes, uh, you know, and then, the, and then the pianist didn't turn up, you know, so I planned it. Or then we've got uh, Susie's lovely story of kind of going, and then I brought my model and then I looked at the people and kind of had to kind of like throw the whole thing away. I think these are lovely examples. Mm -hmm. of like and so then what are at least some of the things mm -hmm. if things don't you know things are not how you expect them to be because one of the things where we get trapped with ourselves is we hold our expectations too 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 solidly and then when they're not like when things don't work out like that you know we can get a bit sort of thrown it's like you know especially in the in the context of presentations you can turn up and you know you think there's only going to be five people and there are a hundred or you think you've got an hour but you've only got 20 minutes or you thought you had 20 minutes and you've got three hours <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 all kinds of things, you know, things that could possibly go wrong, that it's quite, quite hard to think about, but it's like, can go wrong, things that you take for granted, this is all map, it's not territory, you know, the world is in flow and change and flux all the time, and all kinds of things can happen, I don't know whether you, maybe you were even there, were you there that time at Yulu where we were all um, tipped into the street? Uh, by uh, a fire alarm. A fire alarm. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, and Robert Davis and Robert Jones yes, was there. Yeah. And the funniest thing was, because we used to have, we've moved venues as a company, we moved all around, we've been everywhere. Mm. We're now back in Shakespeare's <laughs> land, thank goodness. Yes. But, you know, <laughs> yes. but we were in Yulu for a long, long time. I think Maria I was in Yulu. Yeah. In, in Yulu. <laughs> and uh, one time there was a fire alarm. And so, like, we went out and see. But the funniest thing was absolutely freezing because it was like February or something. And uh, all the gu young guys, particularly, it was in the they had all had to come out of the swimming pool. So the swimming pool, and they were all in little silver blankets in their little speedos. And it was so funny because there were all these girls leaning out of the windows. Do you remember that? Going, come up with us. You know? Yeah, we'll warm you. Know, it's really sweet. We all standing outside shivering. There are all these boys in there, like. Little Anyway, sorry, sweet, but you remember that. So things can go wrong. You know, the model that you thought you were just gonna like everything was gonna fit, or the key thing like the musician, or the way the furniture is, or the time frames, or the people who are there. I've put a big list of this, I think, in your in your notes. It's like what can go wrong, you know, everybody hates you and you know. If someone tells you a joke just before you know you're a <laughs> joke, just before you bloody well go on, and they do it better than you do. Yeah. Or like, every, some, something happens where you just go, oh, fuck, you know, sorry, on the camera. <laughs> and this is just the mismatch. This is a mental thing about the mismatch between the mental map and the reality. This is where all our woe and despair comes from. It's what, you know, Richard Band always says, you know, disappointment requires adequate planning. <laughs> 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 because we have things in our mind that's just going to be like that. And we can't, we, we never even imagine some of the yeah. fundamental things might not be yeah. in place yeah. for us. Yeah. So again, it's, you know, mm. in terms of just having that as a kind of actually everything is movable mm -hmm. many many times things are as we expect them to be the pianist does turn up you know the furniture's okay for us whatever it might be but sometimes it just isesn't like that you know doesn't go according to yeah. plan so I'm wondering if you've got some kind of what you might call downside you know potential operations mm -hmm. that you could just sort of mark out that are there, uh, kind of in the background, as it yeah. were, mm -hmm. that you can deploy yep. where, you know, as and how things aren't exactly, so that you're always in the flow with ideas, you know. Mm. Yeah, so I have a back pocket, back pocket question, which I ask myself, which oh, is, yes. what's wanting to happen here? We're all stealing that straight away. <laughs> and, and then co-creating, so it's kind of... What's wanting to happen here? Yeah. Wow. There's a question and a half. Yeah, between... 
this entity yeah. and me yeah. and what's yeah. divinely, we're divinely depicted, yeah. we're here, what's, what, what's the message? Yeah, yeah. Let's get, you know, what do you want to have happen, what do I want to have yes. happen, what are we going to co-create? Yeah, with? yeah, lovely. So he goes, my fundamental, it's like a meta step. Mm. It's like a meta step. It's a step at another level. It's not a particular strategy. It's not a particular thing that he does. Well, it is. It's asking a question that generates mm. multiple. It's a generative question, mm. in other words. Very, very, very interesting, isn't it? Mm. How can it open? Yeah. And it well, give, yeah. It deepens the field. Because mm. it might be we need a tea break, and I need a tea break for five yeah, minutes yeah. to work out what's happened. Because the, yeah. or, or it might be there's an exercise, or it might be start conversation. Who knows? Absolutely. Or know, it might so be I'm just walking straight out of that yeah, building, yeah. hailing off. a cab. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm it's <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> Never rule anything out. That's what I say. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And it kind of goes into that kind of yeah. not knowingness, yeah, yeah, which, it, which yeah. is the flux. So there's a kind of thing of like I just let that not knowing mm -hmm. happen. So this won't be the same for everybody because people have got different things in mind. Mm -hmm. Remember, he's got a very particular thing that he wants. He's got a client group he works with. Mm -hmm. He's got a particular methodology that he uses. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be different for everybody. How do you create space to think about that if you're in a moment? Because sometimes if you give a presentation, you have no time, you have to speak and think about plan B. Uh -huh. So how do you make how do you make space for that? So I breathe. Mm. If you speak, while you speak and give a yeah, presentation. Yeah, slow it down. You might ask a question out to the audience. You can ask, you know, it might be an internal one of what's wanting to happen. You might just ask a question out to the audience. So they're busy cognitively doing Ooh. stuff, which gives you enough time then to kind of recalibrate and step back. Can I just answer it at another level, which is to to open up the terms of your inquiry, mm. which is to say, you have to speak. Yeah. <laughs> you have to speak. I mean, you're there, but, you know, uh, and then it's like, well, what, what do you want? <laughs> What's possible? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I think that I, it's a great question because yeah. it's like if you're there and things have gone wrong, I mean, my own answer would be to meta comment normally. Mm. It would be to go, oh, this wasn't what I was expecting. I mm. thought X and Y. Yeah, or that was all, you know, yeah. how's everybody doing? You yeah. know, were yeah. you all right around this? Mm. Would you like me to kind of like cover this rather than that? Mm. You know, so it's like I would more direct. Rather than sort of think, I've got to carry on with my speech while I try and think about something else to save me. Although there are moments like that, of course, aren't there? I'm sure, Susie, you have like a million and one things where you go, oh, fuck, you know, it's that the boot was poisoned anecdote, isn't it? Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> and I was doing some filming last two weeks ago, and uh, the actor in front of me didn't know his lines. Yeah. And we had a day to, to get this in the can. And he would just come towards me with this terrible blank look. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking, I can't actually help you, you're on camera. You know, it's not like being on stage where you can whisper something. Yeah. <clears throat> but something really interesting about what you've just said, because it's the power of the pause. All storytellers mm. knew when to pause mm. so that the next sentence would have resonance mm -hmm. with the audience. And punctuation came into being to tell us how long to pause and when to pause. And so I think what, what possibly David is doing is, is, I don't know whether you want to do this or not, but it's that sense of, I don't have to speak, I breathe. In that pause is the breath. In punctuation is the breath. Question marks are a slightly longer breath than commas. And in that breath, the ecology of the body actually changes and we become slightly calmer if we take the breath right down here and then we can deliver something back to the question. That what we might call paces yeah. and acknowledges what is happening exactly. and what is yeah. real mm -hmm. in a way that's yeah. helpful to people. Yeah. 
So you don't, don't necessarily always want to say exactly what's going on, but I mean, it might be just pacing and... Is, can I, is it a long point or... No, it's very quick, sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. Uh, the, 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 the chap who kept drying yes. when I was filming with him yes. a couple of weeks back, we stopped it. Yes. We took a huge breath, both yeah. of us. Yeah. Let it out, brought it in again, and went, and we yeah, got yeah. that yes. tiny segment yes. in on camera. Yeah. And it was that it just changed his ecology yes. from yes. an upper chest breathing to lower yeah, chest yeah. breathing. Brilliant. To lower. How lovely to be doing a scene with Susie when that happens to you. Yes. She yes. can yes. sort you out straight away. Yeah. 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 Breathe. Yeah. Yeah. That, that they okay. did. Can I ask a very question? You did something at the beginning of this discussion. You went somatically. You said you just went. Oh, it's this. I just wondered. Are you aware of what this was? You just you did. You went. Oh, it's just this. Do you know? Are you aware of what that was? Oh, and yeah. This unzip. That that that. Yeah, that's yeah. an unzip. So yeah. can you just what well, is that's, the, ah. that's a feedback. So that's a meta comment. That's yes. my way of oh, you unzip. unzip. What's going on in my mind at the moment? Uh, so sometimes so when I'm team coaching, we'll do a kind of piece of work, and then I'll go, well, what happened? And then I'll say, well, I'll unzip. I did this, then I did this, then I did this, then I did this. And they go, ah, oh, especially with leaders, they kind of experience it, and yes. sort of, you know, yeah, yeah. experience it, and then you kind of unzip the learning of, you know, that's what that was. How, how's it all connected? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a bit of an unzip for people. Mm -hmm. you, you just take it from here and unzip here. But it's coming. Unzip. Unzip. Yeah, yeah. what's inside here? Get it out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you look. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if you were a Tasmanian, it would be a second head. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I have an angel on one shoulder ah. and the devil on yeah. the other. <laughs> so we've got that. So we've got quite a lot of these pieces. Mm. I mean, I've spent longer on it. Then maybe we would, because there's such a lot that's coming out, I think, that we can model and we can take from, uh, from there. So then that's the sort of big tote, and then inside of that there's today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, so this is what to the tote is like, that there's a, like a big thing, and then there's kind of smaller things inside, inside, inside. In NLP they're called nested totes, mm -hmm. which is really sweet. And do you remember um, Andy Parkinson? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He gave me, I've still got it, a painting of these little sort of like birds in the tree yeah. of nested totes. Yes. And they're like little tote birds yes. nesting yes. in a yes. tree. Yes. He did a painting for me. He's this artist who came and said, sorry, this is reminiscing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <The> old days. <laughs> so, so this is like a sort of smaller, you know, one day is a smaller piece of this. And then the, we could do this, this exercise or this step in this exercise. We could do like a six month tote, we could do a five year tote. We could kind of take, take the tote to any degree of kind of largeness or detail. And they're all inside of each other with the relevancy framework of presence and pre bringing presence to your presentations. So, so let's just for the sake of it, yep. take goals for today. Yep. And go, so you've come all the way down from Birmingham. From Birmingham, yep. <laughs> Shakespeare country. Yes. <laughs> you've made the reverse journey from, yeah. <laughs> from I'm Will. It. I'm slumming it. Will himself. <laughs> <laughs> from Stratford on Avon. Yeah. Uh, so, what are your goals for today? Just for to you know, in terms of like, what what did you want to achieve, or as you might say, have happen, or have a sense of learning? What was your purpose and goal for today? I want to get a rich description. Of the yes. Presence. I just want to yes. that's that mind spa thing. Yes. This is kind of really have an opportunity yes. to explore. Yeah. Um, what my presence is like. Um, there's, I wanted to come and connect with you. Yes. I wanted to come and see you. That was, it kind of came in my timeline. I was uh, on Facebook and thought, oh, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> it just all felt yeah, resonant. Yeah. So there was part yeah. of, you know, I could, part of the bigger tote yes. of being at peace as that felt like, yes. this is right. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to come and do it. So following my yeah. intuition yeah. as well. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Okay, and what are your evidence, what are you going to use as evidences today that you've had this kind of uh, mind spa mm. and this kind of exploration of your of your presence mm. and uh, and this kind of connection and this kind of like this is somehow intuitively right. Mm. 
what, what sorts of things might be your evidences, and maybe there'll be some inside you and some outside you? Mm. So, we're already doing it. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. So this is evidence yes. working with you, uh, working with the group. Um, we've also felt the group feel my presence as well, so yes. just up here. Um, I'm getting just going through this tote exercise, I'm, yeah. I've got stuff to take away with me, kind of, oh, that's interesting, I haven't connected with that. It's kind of nice to get some feedback yes. around some of my somatic ways that I express yes. my presence. So yes. all of that stuff is evidence that's from the outside yeah. coming in. And I feel good. I've got a K plus. So. Yeah, great. <laughs> Tick. Tick. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. And then what are some of the steps and actions, the operations that you want to take or be sort of in some way part of taking mm. that will fulfill those goals with those kinds of evidences? Here today. Yeah, to just to, in this Commit. piece today. Engage, yes. be present, yes. play, yeah, yeah. show up, yeah. be here, get involved, involved with all the participants yeah. and do, do the exercises. Yeah. yeah, great. And if everything goes like, you know, into unknown <laughs> territory, we never know, but you know, it could do. <laughs> if everything kind of doesn't, you know, because obviously people have a kind of expectation of things, if, if those kinds of expectations uh, in some way, either from within you or from the day that we have together, like what will you do to kind of keep yourself on track for yeah. Kind of optimizing this day. So yeah, it's absolutely up to me. So I just it will be I will look at levels of awareness or attention. Yes. If I'm kind of tuning out or it's not fitting my expectations, then what's wanting to happen yeah. will be the question that comes yes. up and I'll kind of realign so yes. that I do get something out of yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Great. Yeah. It's lovely. Didn't we learn a lot? I mean yeah. that was just really what what a beautiful example of working in this way and hopefully it's given you a kind of bit of a sense of how the tote model works at these different levels and like what sorts of things to kind of put in place in your awareness so what so, so David just say what what difference does it make for you to have done this process right here right now it time space coordinates you know Company included. Hmm. I mean, there's a sense of profundity yes. of having what I'm doing mirrored back to me. Yes. That's kind of nice. Yes. Um, I've got some, there's some validation, I suppose, yes. of being seen. That kind of, yes. that's great. Um, and yeah, kind of knowing that it's okay. Yeah. That I'm on my track, I'm on yeah. my path. Yeah. I think the, the reflection back has been yes. really beautiful. Yeah. So I really appreciate that. Yeah. It's nice to have that mirror back yes. and kind of yes. see that. Um, so thank you. You're very, very welcome. It's lovely to see you. Yeah. <laughs> it's lovely, lovely to, to see, see you. Yeah. Uh, so thank you. That's lovely. Thank you.